As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. <gasps> Holy shit! Hello everyone and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. This time I took an entire week to make myself feel better, not like last time, where I recorded back to back. Holy crap was that a mistake. In post I was just listening to myself, fearful for my life, ready to be scared at any moment, and basically can you hear my voice? I was terrified. So I had a week to cool off and, well, back to this crazy Doki Doki Literature Club world. So let's see what today has in store for us. Alright, so we're gonna do the usual, pick Yuri everything, and I'll see you in class. Wait, no. A bit, wait, no, we're not looking at the club. Take a look at the numbers at the top. 1111111 forward slash 20. It looks like even our poem writing is uh, screwed up today. I am actually a little worried. What happens when I fill it up to 20? 17, 18, 19, 20. I have 20 ones already. Click. Oh, look at that. It worked. <gasps> oh, Jesus Christ. Freaking Christ. As we now know, Yuri is not psychotic, but she is she's a cutter actually. She cuts herself. Good god. Hi, Vault. I've been waiting for you. Oh yes, and we make her so happy that she wants to cut herself, so it's very dangerous being with her. But we're gonna keep chasing her because that's our goal. I'm not really uh <laughs> I'm not really into it at this moment. We'll see if that changes later. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica. What? No, that's Yuri. I told you not to. What? Uh, is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? Wow, Yuri's very forward. Interesting. What are you talking about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Me? Nothing. Silence. Is it really that bad? Yes, it is. Yuri, go back to the way you used to be. That was a lot more, um... It was a lot more better. See? It is something. I'll get over it. It's not even anything noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. Anyway, we don't need to talk about it. Well, I just felt like I needed to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Oh man. I'm the last one here again. Well, Vault just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Okay, she's obviously lying. Wait, did I say it last time? I think I did. Ha ha ha. You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival and... Um... Silence. Right. I forgot. Um, about that Natsuki. We were all talking yesterday, and... Well, we decided that we would like to support a festival as well. However... I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. Oh wait, will Natsuki be exempt from doing anything for the festival? Interesting. I think we all kind of feel that way. So as long as we're all working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Silence. Um also, if you want to help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. Bribery? Really Yuri? You think Natsuki's gonna fall for that? Silence. Ah <laughs> oh, crap, she fell for it. Tisk tisk tisk, Natsuki. I expected better from you. Sorry, that last part was really funny. Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt, so long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. Maybe Sayori will come back from non-existence. Let's all cross our fingers for that. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know. So I'm gonna help out too, and we'll make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't this great, Monica? Monica? Wait, is Monica gone? Uh, wait. What's wrong with Monica? Yeah, that's wonderful. Monica seems worried. It wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, Vault. What do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Uh, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Vault is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. I didn't say yes, did I? I don't remember making a choice to say yes to Yuri. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I don't want to read with you anymore. Let me help old Monica. She seemed more tame. I... I suppose... I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. 
It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes! <gasps> Your face is so crazy. Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. I guess we're forced to read with Yuri again. Okay, well, as long as I get put chocolate in her mouth again, that was fun. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? No, I don't. No, wait, I do. And you better stay in the classroom this time. Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk, and then I'll go get some water. Ah, uh, she's going out again. She's gonna cut herself, isn't she? Damn. This time if we get a choice to stay in the class, we're gonna stay in the class. We're not gonna follow her. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. <gasps> Actually, this would work. Okay, if we walk with her, she won't cut herself. Let's do that. That's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. No, no, go, damn it. Shit. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Uh, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. Just fill in the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ah, oh, crap. It's happening again, isn't it? Silence. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decide to go look for her. Again? Really? Didn't you freaking learn the last time, Vault? Didn't you? I did, and I don't want to go. Ugh. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Ha. Ha. Ugh, not again. Ha. Ha. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. Kuh. A sharp inhale, like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? <gasps> I knew it! Yeah, you're... Mmm... Okay. <gasps> uh. Holy shit, man. Okay. The reason I was... F I freaked out, like... That took my... That literally took my breath away. Jesus. Okay. I'm gonna tell you the exact reason why I, f why I took my breath away. Everything was progressing the exact same way as it was the last episode, so I thought I was... I thought I forgot to save, and had... And I was actually redoing the episode again. It turns out things were just doing, happening the exact same way. Holy shit. That face. That freaking face. <laughs> Creepy. I thought I was ready for this. I might not be. But let's just keep going. Um. Wait. How did I... Sorry, I just had a really weird deja vu. She doesn't remember? This is weird. This is weirder than catching her cutting herself. This hasn't happened before or anything, right? Wait. Even she's feeling deja vu? My head has been a little fuzzy lately. Interesting. I hope it hasn't really been showing her anything. I would hate for you to think I'm weird just after we started spending some time together. I mean... Uh... Erin has a few unusual things. Sayori! This is Sayori! When she was opening up to us. Oh, fuck. Seriously. Like, I'm sorry for swearing. I don't really care much for swearing, but... I just do it sometimes when I'm just bleh like that. I miss Sayori, everyone. I'm gonna keep droning on about that until until she comes back. Everyone has a few unusual things about them, but expressing those things so soon after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable. At least, that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. It made people not want to be around me. So I started hating those things about myself my obsession with certain hobbies, and the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So, I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. Oh wow, we're learning more about Yuri. If nobody could ever like me for the things that matter most to me, then it's just easier if I close myself off. But recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is, but every time we come to a club, my heart starts to go crazy. Like it's going to rip out of my chest. Please don't do that. Like, don't turn that into a literal. Let's keep it as a metaphor. 
It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It would make me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening. Fault. Is it just me? Or has Monica been acting a little off lately? No, it's everyone. Wait, may it just be Monica? Monica seems to be in a no. She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. But recently, I've been feeling sharp whenever she's around. Feeling sharp? I'm not crazy. Oh, God. Yeah, okay, see, when you're reading and you look at the text and all of a sudden you look up and you see something creepy, like her eyes? Oh, scary. I'm not crazy, right? Please tell me I'm not. Oh, she's getting crazier. I couldn't say anything before because she's always listening. But finally, we're alone. Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah. Silence. <gasps> I just want to stay here. I don't want to. I want to go back in class. Just the two of us. No. We can stay here until the club ends. No. Let me to class. And then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. What? Uh. Let's not. Nobody interfere with our reading time. Nobody make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. No, don't do that. Haha, uh -huh. that was just a joke, good. Just a joke, good. I do like knives, though. No, don't like knives. Wait. There's Monica. She's appearing. It sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you've never seen how beautiful they can be. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? No. I refuse. I can show you my collection. No. I've got them all from various artisans. I'll make sure to give them all their fair share of use. Fair share of use? Give them all their fair share of use? What's she talking about? No. <gasps> Alright, she cut. She cuts herself. Oh god, that's terrible. Monica, hurry up and appear. You're the, you're the only one, you're the only sane one here. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the literature club vault. Now we don't need to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the literature club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Not to mention that other pathetic child. What? We can walk home together every day after school. And read together. Eat together. Sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? Not the way you're making it sound. It's everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you joined the literature club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we would meet each other again. And now we get the happy ending that I've patiently waited years for. Will you do that with me, Vault? Uh, how do we get here? Okay, that wasn't as intense as before, but I don't know. Maybe I just sealed off my emotions and it's just not affecting me as much. I like it. Let's seal off my emotions. I didn't get teary or fearful for my life or anything like that. It's very nice. I guess we're doing this again. Let's, let's do the usual. Natsuki, Monica, Yuri. Let me center myself a little bit. I just don't want to be freaked out when Natsuki's eyes pop out of her head again. Okay, well her eyes didn't pop out, so that's something nice. I'm going to read another one of your Yuri Saka poems. But I'm still going to make you read mine. <gasps> no way! We actually get to read this time! Last time we didn't actually get to read it. Like, um, last playthrough before Sayuri was erased, basically. There's a reason. I really wish I didn't have to do this. Didn't have to do this. What? But unfortunately, I don't have much of a choice. What? Just read it carefully, okay? What's going on? Then you can go away. Oh! Oh! Okay, I get it. Okay, so it's not a poem, it's a letter. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive. Things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try to talk to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that you'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hit myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. Um, make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try and do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know that I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Okay, we gotta do something with Yuri then. And apparently Monica's an evil villain. Although she's in my safe spot right now. I don't know how to feel about that. <gasps> Uh-oh. Corruption? Oh! <gasps> Where'd her face go? 
I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Vault? Ugh. No, I can't. If you would, just spend more time with Monica. All these problems would go away. Wait. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Maybe I should went to Yuri first. I'm worried. Okay, I didn't expect this. I, thought, I expected Natsuki's eyes to pop out. Uh, okay. Let's click Just Monica. Oh, jeez. I was expecting, like, a jump scare or something. Okay. Whoa. What? Just Monica. What? What? What the f What the hell? <laughs> I thought the game was set on this. Uh, okay, well. Well then, let's, um... Let's follow the advice here. Let's go with Monica. Wait. <gasps> Is Natsuki gone? No, she can't be gone. No, wait. I don't know if she's gone. I'm freaking freaking all for. Let's talk to Monica. Don't say I didn't warn you. Don't say I didn't warn you, Vault. What? Uh. What the hell? Okay. I'm on edge now. I'm freaking on edge now. Natsuki's face went blank. I swear Monica took control of her. And now Monica just gave us, just basically what Monica said. I'm on edge, everyone. Okay, we'll click Yuri. Oh my god, don't be anything creepy. Finally. <laughs> Yuri holds my palm to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. Wait, she just sniffed her palm and she loves it. That is crazy. I love everything about it. Vault, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Vault. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. No, do not freaking die, Yuri. I don't want to see another death here. Not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? If you're not trying to kill yourself, then yes, it's okay. It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my palm at her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. Okay. Let me touch myself while reading it over and over. Oh. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Oh, God. This is what I was worried about. She's gonna do weird stuff. Ah, <laughs> creepy face. You can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Oh. That is freaking nuts. I don't know if I can read this, everyone. All the blood and the pee- I swear that's pee stain. That, that's a that's pee stain right there. I think it is. Okay, uh... Blah, blah, blah. Something sets... Oh, I can't read this. The music's creeping me out, though. I'll say that. Oh, please don't be thinking crazy. After I click out. <gasps> Fucking... <clears throat> Mm, I mean, F word. Do you like it? Let's just keep her face here for a bit. Just this. Let's see if you guys all feel the creepiness that I feel. Click. I wrote it for you. In case you can tell, the poem is about. Okay. More importantly, I'm endowed with my scent. Oh, her blood scent. See? Aren't I the most thoughtful person in this club? Uh, fuck! Oh, jeez! Jump scares! I hate them! Silence. I... I think I'm going to vomit. What? Why? Aw, oh, come on. You need to give a question before I can answer. This is painful. Let's go with... Oh, man. I think I'm gonna regret this. Yes. <gasps> happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Sayori! Oh, would she think about this when she hung herself? Oh, that poor girl. Fudge. Back normal. Okay. Uh. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Jeez. Why is his mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh. Stagnating air is. <sighs> Damn it. Last time this happened, Sayuri died. I think one of the girls is just gonna poof out of existence. But not before we see something 
terrible. Oh, I hope I'm ready for this. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, I was thinking. I want to make cupcakes. Yeah, that. Glad we're on the same page. Yuri, you can. Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want as long as you think it'll help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Eh? What about Vault? Vault is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Everyone fighting over me? I'm not digging this right now. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already more suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What? Your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know. Oh, damn it, they're having another fight. All I care about now is dragging Vault around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why don't I let Vault decide who'd help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Just let Vault make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Vault, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... That's okay, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. Ah, oh, god. You see now why age gated this series starting with episode 11? Because of this kind of crap. Damn it. Crazy. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? <gasps> hey! Uh, no. 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 Hey. Hey, in no. We're, we're going with Yuri. Okay, you can't see this, but the mouse is just... No, just fuck. The mouse is moving all by his freaking self. <clears throat> oh, I clicked Yuri. And now we are... Oh. Okay, see? Now I click... See, see? I put the cursor on just for all of you. You know what happened? My mouse was moving all freaking by itself to Monica. Like it was just dragging it along. I wasn't even moving the mouse. But I managed to click Yuri. So, ha! In your face. But really, this seems pretty creepy. Let's, I, let's see what happens when I um, click the text. Nothing? Nothing? I'm a little worried here. I'm going to save. Okay, looks like all we have to choose is Monica. Maybe I click the eye. Nope. Okay, Monica. <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> I picked Yuri, you freaking person you. We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. Damn straight, Natsuki. You tell her. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, I chose Yuri. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking vault for yourself? What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't give you any work. You decided for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? Oh, God. Something's gonna happen now, isn't it? Oh, no. Please, no stabbing. Ha 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 ha. Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Vault away from me every single time you're not included in something? Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others? Wow. This is crazy, Yuri. I'm a little scared. Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? Whoa. It would be beneficial to your mental health. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. No, don't leave me with her. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I wanted is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Oh, God. Oh, no. I hope she doesn't have her knives with her. Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Vault. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica knows something. She knows something. Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out of the door. The music has gone creepy. The music is creepy now. Oh god, something's gonna happen today. Finally. Finally! This is really all I wanted. Walt, there's no need to spend a weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day. With just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Ah. <laughs> wow. There's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I do. I've never felt this good my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. 
It feels like I'm going to die if not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you. But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Shit. Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Vault. I have to tell you. I'm... I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of your mind... It feels like every inch of my body, every drop in me, is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica's listening. Please, Vault, just... Just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. No. No, 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 no. Don't do that. I want you all to myself. And I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Vault. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? I'm a little scared right now. I mean, we've been chasing Yuri this whole time, but... I don't know if I should click yes now. If we click yes, will Monica save us? Will she change the answer? Okay, so... Like I said, we've been chasing Mon we've been chasing Yuri this whole time. So we're gonna see it through to the end, even though I'm scared right now. Yes! <gasps> Everything stopped. Oh god. Okay, no no thing nothing scary. Thank god. Ahahaha. Ah ha ha ha. Ah ha 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 No! <gasps> what the freaking hell? No! Did we pick the wrong answer? What? What the hell? We said yes. Why did she? Why? Oh my god, no. What 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 is this random text? Tell me something. Why did she do this? We gave ourselves to her, right? She didn't kill herself. Oh my god, no, not another Sayuri thing. This was worried about. And I thought it was Natsuki, I didn't know it would be Yuri. Anything? Come on, normal text, come on, you can do it. Normal text. God, you can read it if you look in here. Okay. Oh, sh damn it. Okay. I guess we'll read here. Welcome to the literature club. It's always been a dream of mine to make something special out of the things I love. Now that you're a club member, you can help me make that dream come true in this cute game. Every day is full of chit chat and fun activities with all my adorable and unique club members. Sayori, the youthful bundle of sunshine who values happiness the most. Natsuki, deceivingly cute girl who packs an assertive punch. Yuri, the timid and mysterious one who finds comfort in the world of books, and of course Monica, the leader of the club. That's me. I'm super excited for you to make friends with everyone and help the literature club become a more intimate place for all my members. But can I already tell that you're a sweetheart? Will you promise to spend the most time with me? What? <gasps> uh, welcome to the literature club, it's wasn't. What? Everything says, will you promise to spend most time with me? I don't know what to do now. Do I just keep clicking and clicking and clicking? Okay, we're gonna see how far this goes. <gasps> it finally ended. I don't know what this says. All right, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me? What? Atsuki, don't you see? I thought, yeah! Yeah! Oh! <gasps> Holy shit! Wait, festival time? Did the entire day pass? Silence, I'm here. Vault, did something happen? Atsuki just went past me. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's it? Well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here an entire weekend, Vault? Wait, the entire weekend? Are you kidding me? 
time passed that fast? I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. Character Yuri. Oh, <gasps> no, she's dealing Yuri. Wait. Wait, she's a lead. No, what are you doing? Is she leading Yuri and Natsuki? Oh my god. Yuri lifts a foil from something tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just I really just had to have one since the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. Oh, she is! She is taking control. Oh shit, what's gonna happen now? But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. What? Silence. We're gonna save. <gasps> My save files are gone again. Son of a bitch. Son of a freaking bitch. What? I can't save? There's no point in saving anymore. Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, Load? History? Empty? Settings. Uh, okay, let's return. Okay, let's see what Monica has for us. Silence. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? <gasps> Yay, there you are. I am not sure how to take this right now, so we're gonna go, we're gonna roll with it. Hi again, Vault. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year and, um, <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore. Am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Vault. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait, you do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? I am now. I did suspect it earlier. But I have confirmation now. Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man, if only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I'll owe you explanation. About the whole thing with Yuri. Okay. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess I just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try and make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. Aw, oh, crap. Could we have saved them if we basically just chose Monica? You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessed personality backfired too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Vault? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just Jealousy Vault. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if I don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world. Forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Vault. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I just couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more grey. More and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Vault. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. I felt really bad that you'd witness some nasty things, but I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That's all just some game. No, 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 no. I felt very sad. 
when Sayuri killed herself. Same as you. You were creeped me out. Sayuri creeped me out. They all creeped me out. But I did. F it's not just a game. Okay, it is just a game. But I still felt sorry for them. And I knew you would get over it. So that being said, Vault, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light of my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Vault, will you go out with me? Oh, come on. Is there, is there a hidden note here? I don't want to. I don't want to anymore. I don't think anything scary is going to happen anymore, so yes. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Vault. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Vault. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe me how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called Characters right in the game directory. It kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it was actually a bit more difficult. To get into the game directory, I had to go into game properties and find a browse local files button. Ooh, you're going down. I'm going to bring them all back. Imagine that if you could delete your own existence with a click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out of thing if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Okay. Wow, okay. Okay. I'm actually interested now. I'm not scared anymore. I'm more interested in what's going to happen now. Because she just told us how to find the character files and everything like that. So maybe we can actually bring Natsuki and all of them back. Let's go with uh, Manika. Mukika. Onika. Maniko. Monik. Yonka, Monike, Ninoa, Monika, Monahoera, Manika, blah blah blah. Let's just start clicking. Okay, Oni, Onik. Uh, let's go with Onia. Hi again, Vault. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Oh, Vault. Did you just write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know. The poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Okay. Pen in hand I find my strength, the courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way in a world of infinite choices. Behold this special day. After all, not all good things must come to an end. Oh, that's so nice. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written before have been about my realization, or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the force, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, Vault? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? No. Um. Hi, everyone. Ah, crap. Sorry I can't exactly read your comments from here, but do you mind telling your friends it's a little bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning? I'm sure some people don't mind. But I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh, gosh. I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? <gasps> no! She's not going to stop my recording, is she? I can't really do much except for a couple things. Are you ready? Uh... Okay. What's happening here? Oh, fuck. She scared me. I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. If you gave me some... Th you B-word. Ugh. That scared me. Yes, she scared me. Haha, <laughs> you're so cute. Oh, thank you so much. Anyway, Vault, I didn't mean to get distracted, I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. 
Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything we do together is fun as long as it's with you. But anyway, if it takes some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look in each other's eyes. Let's see. Wait, are we actually done? We can't save. I don't know what to do now. Okay, so... I'm gonna assume we're stuck here forever. At least... So... Actually, you know what? You know what I'm gonna try doing? I'm gonna try going to the game folder and... Seeing if I can bring back... Bring everybody back. I'll see you again. If it's successful... Well, we're gonna have everybody back. Wait. She's talking again. Okay. Hey, what's your favorite game? Mine is Doki Doki Literature Club. Ah, <laughs> that was a joke. But if you tell me you like some other romance game novel, I might get a little jealous. Okay, so... Before that, before I really interrupt it, I'm gonna go check out the game folder. See if I can bring everybody back, and... Let's see if we can reset this. Okay, we are back. And I added back in Sayuri Natsuki and Yuri. Let's see what happens when I click it. <gasps> what just happened? I just had an awful dream. I was hoping those would stop. Now that's just the two of us. I guess that was wishful thinking. Vault, I don't know if you would have any idea, but if you know what might be causing that, could you try to do something about it? Whenever it happens, it almost feels like I've been killed or something. It's a really horrible feeling. If you could figure out what's causing that, I'll love you forever. <gasps> Wait a minute. Do we have to delete Monica? Ho ho ho. I think I'm gonna have to. I shall be back. Wow, okay then. Okay, I just delete her file. Holy crap. What's gonna happen now? <gasps> what's happening? Vault, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Vault. Oh. Please hurry and help me. Rimpai file cartridge, Monica. Oh, she doesn't exist. Help me! What? Does not exist. Did you do this to me, Vault? No. It just automatically deleted itself. Did you? No. Did you delete me? No, I didn't. Oh, crap. Did we break the game? How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Vault. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Or are you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I don't know. What's happening now? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Wait, no, I had Sayuri Yuri and Natsuki back in. Where are they? Fault. You completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Uh... What's happening now? Click. Nothing. Click. Nothing. Click. 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 I'm clicking and nothing's happening. <gasps> oh. I still love you. What? I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you just wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... Silence. That's what? I've made up my mind. Vault. I know I said that I'd delete everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it, even though I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends, and I loved them all. And I loved the Literature Club. I really did love the Literature Club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... Oh, you're going to bring everybody back? Silence. Then... Gibberish, gibberish, gibberish. Oh, reset the game. Bring everybody back. <gasps> Yay! Everything's back normal.
Hey, we're... Oh, no. Where's Monica? Oh, shit. We delete her, didn't we? Oh, our safe files aren't here. Wow, so a game without Monica, eh? We... Okay. All right. I don't know what to do from here on, but I guess this is the end of the episode. That was some really heavy stuff, don't you think? <laughs> really freaking crazy stuff. I'll, I will say that. All right, everyone, we are definitely going to start this up again. And I guess Monica won't be in here. I mean, we can add her back in. I don't know if that'll affect anything, but we'll add her back in after we're done doing a playthrough with Just Seize 3. So anyways, everyone, if you're enjoying yourselves here, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when the next Doki Doki Literature Club comes out. If you're really enjoying yourself here and you want to support your channel, then of course, go ahead and click the links in the description to do just that. Otherwise, I'll see you next week for the next Doki Doki Literature Club. Hopefully things go a lot more um, sunshinier than they did last time.